Thank you so much for watching Tomofuchi the Music. Today, I'm gonna show you uh, Larry Carlton style how to use triads over the chord progression chords. And what happened was, um, I got an email from a person who likes um, my music and my YouTube, and his name is Tim, Tim H. And um, he asked me about the CDs, and once in a while people ask me CD directly, and uh, he couldn't figure it out how to buy you know, online. And so um, he decided to send me money to my mailbox. And then there was a package with it, not just you know envelope. And uh, so thank you so much, Tim. This is really, truly amazing. The, um, so the story is just kind of a, um, back and forth a little bit, but just, you know. So he went to buy CD, and he loves Larry Carlton. And that's why I make this video for him, for my you know appreciation. Why? Well, not only he sent me money, but also he sent me this. Yeah, this is Louis Armstrong live picture in 1941. And th you know, it, it's not like. You, you know, he just bought this picture from somewhere. His friend named Robert Bob Cameron, he um, passed away when he, you know, when he was 19, 80 years old, sadly. But uh, he made this photograph because he was a friend of Louis Armstrong. And um, Tim has negatives, you know, so amazing. And so this is not published, you know, anywhere. So this is very personal. Thank you so much, Tim. This is amazing because I just I, I just wanted to have more music icon legend picture around this to get more energy. This is so much energy, so much jazz, 1941. Yes. St. Louis. I mean this just this, this is just amazing. So amazing. Oh my god. You know, I almost forgot about what I'm doing right now, maybe. Check this out. And then, Louis Armstrong loved um, Bob's picture because he, Bob captured really, really amazing, you know, life. Yes. And then, um, then I, you know, emailed back Tim. And Tim wrote me about the Bob and what Tim does. Tim does play more classical music, but he loves, you know, electric also. And one of his requests was, um, okay, Larry Carlton used you know, triads. And Rick Beato made a video, interview Larry Carlton, and Larry, Larry is explaining about, um, I guess, um, triads. And uh, I could watch this, I could translate everything, but I thought maybe before I do that, I can do that too, but maybe this is my knowledge about Larry Carlton. And Larry Carlton was my biggest influence. Okay, so the f first thing I noticed, he does like this, you know, this is, f it's, okay, two things. One is really simple, C major, right, and then F major, okay. The Larry Carlton does it like this. Joe Pass does it. That's G triad. Okay, but he plays over not for G. That's G. But then that's C. So what's happening is triad uses upper structure triads. That's a difficult name, but just you know using triads above the bass. Okay. So in this case you're taking. C, D, E, F, G, F five. So basically five of one, really. You know. So then what's happening is when you do this, the triad has a lot of nice sound. You see. So like. B 
メジャースターでね、right? I'm sorry、メジャーナイン、メジャー、メジャーセブン、and ナイン、and フィフ。フィフ、you know, okay, ナイン、フィフ、and メジャーセブン。So that's really cool, right? So now you can have major ninth sounds with a triad, so like this. Or sometimes people do. Like that, right? Like I used to like this, like, you know, you put your finger on the seventh fret and then just, you know, put your second finger, second string, eighth fret. Like that. Then you have a bass. That's kind of a that steel dance sound, you know, like、uh, he used to, they used to, that kind of you know, sound. So I made a backing track, C major 7 going to F major 7. So now if we play F major 7, you can play C trial. Really simple, right? Really simple. But now if you play C trial, Over F. I use a lot of this voicing. Check this out. You put the first finger in the fifth fret, like that. So that's C triad, second inversion. But if you use your pinky, put the bottom. Like that. Okay, so now you, so you got. Detail course, I have, of course, I have a lot of detail、uh, lessons on the guitar wisdom. If you're interested, learn to next level. Okay, so here, let's listen、uh, my backing track, Loop Station RC3, and track number nine. Let's listen. I play simple, right? F major s e v e n Now, first, I play G major triad. Blues is a little spicy, you know, like a Mexican food, you know, it's good, very good. Anyway, so just like that, okay, you can put G major triads, you can put C major triads, but you don't have to do everything. So, see, so sometimes you can do maybe beginning, you play G major. I mix a lot of stuff, so already I'm not using 100% of G major triads or、um, C major triads. I just use、uh, parts of it. In other words, when you practice, you want to play exactly these ingredients you like or not. That way, you are using a tool through the music. You can hear the difference 
intervals you have to really focus. So you have to do really, really slow. Then gradually adding something else, a little bit more blues if you want to do that and anything. To me, once I get that, you know, specific sounds, I mix with a little bit bluesy sound. And here, like I told you, Larry Carlton, Tim, Larry Carlton is my biggest influence. Biggest influence, but what happened was I was brought up with a lot of different artists to listen to. And one of the Joe Pass, B.B. King, you know, so many. But then, Cornel Dupree, Robin Ford, yeah, many, many. Okay. And then, Larry Carlton was really, 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 I loved, you know. So, when I came to Boston, then I, of course, I didn't bring my 335. I have a th Stratocaster and a Duncan Stratocaster. And I'm playing like Larry Carlton phrasing, bending style, because I really worked on my bending, because I knew uh, Larry Carlton, when he released uh, records in 1969, he didn't really bend any notes. But then 1972, he started bending notes. So I could hear that he doesn't really... I'm sorry, Larry, if it's wrong, I'm sorry. But my guess is he just figured out, okay, I want to bend like blues player. But he was really great jazz guitar player, accomplished jazz guitar player who apply bending style into his music. And it probably took Santana sounds, boogie, uh, overdrive sounds like that. So he has a lot of sustain, like a saxophone. And then sounds like a very jazzy, but a lot of bends, you know, reminds you rock music. So he's a really true pioneer of fusion music, you know, mixing jazz and rock. So my problem was I copy, I didn't really copy him a lot, but definitely I copy Room 335. Also that album, I've listened so many times I because the album it almost records came out through the uh, the album jacket that's how much i you know li listen to i mean always i play that room 335 you know uh, on, on. i even i made a 90 minute cassette tape that has a side b side and room 335 so i don't have to flip the records you know that's how much uh, i loved larry carlton problem was i came to boston everybody said you sound like a larry carlton Oh, thank you. Few times ago, but once you have like 20, 30 times saying, you sound like a Larry Carlton. You get a little annoyed, you know, not annoyed, but just, you know, okay, so now what's going on? Because, because I'm using overdrive, I'm using his kind of phrasing. Then all of a sudden hit me. I have to make my own sound. That's when I decide not to listen Larry Carlton anymore. Tim, sorry, a little bit of story, you know, going around because I, I want the people to understand why I don't play that style anymore. Just because Larry Carlton, you just need one Larry Carlton. You don't need another one. So I just decide away from 335. Even I brought this back from Japan, but then I try not to play. Even put on your funk face, you know, I only play two tunes. Yeah, so here, Tim, I'm gonna send you with signed, you know, yeah. Yeah, so like, so that I will send you this one, right place, right time, right place, right, right time, and pure. Okay, Steve Gatt, Bernard Party, Steve Jordan, we lay on it. And here, Larry Carlton's son, actually, um, Travis Carlton, and yeah, so many great guys, and James Gaddison, Lamar Carter on drums, you know, Luke Miller on, you know, organ, keyboards, and, um, yeah, oops, so many, and then Kirk Fletcher, Kirk Fletcher, and Josh Smith on it, so we record, actually, this is, we recorded 2013, you didn't know, right, <laughs> okay, so one more, let's, let's finish one more, so like Larry Carlton, he definitely played a lot of blues, right, so if he play G blues, G, G7, then Larry does like this. G, he plays G and he plays F. One and plus seven. So that what's happening is when you play, like, you know, if you play.
So he does it like this. So Tim, slowly, so you have a G, then you have an F, same shape. But root is G. So you have to think about this when you play. That's a five, three, one, 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 three, five. And then whole step lower is a flat seven, and then ninth and eleventh. So easy to understand by okay what it is, but you have to really play it. So this is you know exercise you have to do. Okay, so slowly watch here, right? So you play G, you play F, you play F again, G again. And you play F, you play G, and F. So if you play from uh, root, okay, so now. You play four, four chord is a C. Maybe here. That's why triad is important. And I notice when I copy a little bit of Larry Carlton, okay, triad. So that's why I really focus on the triads. I practice only bending, not the phrase, only bending, because I knew he practiced that. I don't think he just played riffs, because when people just play riff or uh, phrase, you know, technique is not strong to me. It's okay. But Larry Carlton's technique, it just, I mean, if you listen to Keith Charmaine solo, that pitch control, that's amazing, really amazing. So I had, I have to have, I have to have, you know, a uh, Larry Carlton skill playing Kiss Charmaine, that solo. So I copied Kiss Charmaine, but really, you know, took his idea, try, uh, technique of triads. And um, so maybe next video I can talk about how to, how to make your own sound. Very difficult. It's not easy. Own sound means when someone listen to you, 10, 15 seconds, that person can tell that's you. That's best compliment for guitar player, I think. That's why I was imitating Larry Carlton so good, everybody said, you sound like Larry Carlton. Thank you. But I have to make Tomo Fujita sound. What's that? So that's next step. But anyway, uh, okay. So I don't want to um, make it this too long. And um, I have to find out what track I put this backing track. I think a five. Oh, no, no, that's that one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I thought I did this. Uh, okay, okay, okay. That's the wrong one. Seven. Okay. So now, G. Okay, one. And four. Back to one. I just made this this morning. Five and four. I made a simple and one. One. One more time. And one. One. And one. One. Four. Four. And one. Right. One. Five.
How's that? You see? Larry Gordon, one and flat seven. Thank you so much for watching Tomo Fujita Music and definitely uh, if you want to learn more details, more depth, I highly recommend to join Guitar Wisdom, only $9.99, uh, you know, the subscription. So, you know, even you can stay a few months and cancel, that's fine. And also, please subscribe, like this video, share this video with your friends. That's all I ask, you know, and that'd be great. And uh, a lot of people don't know me. So you can spread the word. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I'm learning every day. I'm a forever student. So we are all the same. <laughs> it's just a human. And we have to work hard every day and we have to thank for everything. And uh, thank you so much, Team H, for sending uh, money for CD. And then this amazing picture by Bob, you know, this is, I mean, sorry. See? Whoop. Whoops. Yeah, this is, this is amazing. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. And then, I need to get a frame. And then, thank you for reminding me about Larry Carlton. Thank you, Larry Carlton, for guiding me to get here, to America. Because Larry Carlton, that's, that's the decision I made. I have to go to America. So this is a guitar. I have to buy this, but it took me, took me a long time, actually. It took me a long time, you know, all together, probably three, four years, uh, deliver a newspaper to get this guitar back in Japan. Thank you, Larry, and thank you, Tim, and thank you, everybody. See you soon.